Hello, Will here with Willfolio at willfolio.com and today I'm going to show you how to concatenate multiple rows of text into single columns. And I got the idea of doing this because here's a, you can see a spreadsheet from one of my drop shippers that I'm um, going to put into uh, the Willfolio store. This is uh, uh, vaporizers and e-cigs. But uh, a lot of these descriptions come in multiple multiple rows, and you have a lot of merged uh, merged uh, cells here, and that's just not something I can work with. So um, I got the idea, or I got the sort of got the the method of doing this from ExcelTactics.com, and I'll put a link to ExcelTactics.com in the description of the, of this video on YouTube and in the blog post that I'm putting this blog into. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is push Control A, Control C to copy all of this information and do a special paste into a new cell a new spreadsheet. So now the next thing I want to do is um, is bring all this information down so that all the rows have it. I won't do it for the descriptions but I'll do it for the rest of them. So the way I'm going to do that is create um, columns for each one. Just copy and paste the name, the names of each column into the new columns. Now we're going to do a formula. If open parentheses is blank, open parentheses, B2 close, then A1 else B2. And you'll see how this works when I fill it down. So um, I can't do an autofill because there's too many blank rows, but I'll, I can do it this way. Control C down to the bottom, hold down shift, highlight all those cells, push Control V, and it automatically transposes them. So as you can see this is 437, 437, 438, 438, and it's 438 all the way down to 439, and it's 439 all the way down to 440, 442, and it's 442 all the way down to 443, and so forth. So now what I'm going to do is push Control C to bring all of that onto the clipboard. Just copy and paste it into all the other um, columns and it automatically transposes. Okay, now what I want to do is get rid of these formulas. So like when you click on a cell, that says 438, but it's actually a formula in here. Um, so that we don't mess anything up when we filter and sort, let's get rid of these, these formulas. So I highlight everything, Control-C, and do a special paste. 
and as you can see the formulas are gone <coughs> excuse me escape to get rid of the dotted lines and now um, we'll make a helper column with the descriptions actually what we want to do is delete delete the old um, columns so I hold down control and highlight all those then right click and click delete okay now what I want to do is get rid of these blanks here so what I'm going to do is highlight that, go to data, filter, scroll, well, uncheck everything and just check the blanks and we want to delete these hold down shift right click delete row and it's saying it won't it's going to take a while okay so I put it on pause and it took probably I don't know a couple minutes so let's put everything back Now we don't have any more blanks. So now we're going to start the concatenation. Insert the helper cell, and we'll call this description as well. Let's get rid of the filter. And we're going to say if a2 is not equal to a1 no that's not what we want to say if a Two is equal to a one. Um, F two concatenate. We we'll use the ampersand to mean concatenate, and we'll put in quote an HTML tag to make a new line. G1, F2, and G1. Else, F2. Oh, I forgot the ampersand for G1. You gotta put in a second ampersand. Okay, let's fill it down. So, um, is that how I wanted to do it? No, I wanted to say I want this to be F2. this to be G1 so it should say if A2 is equal to A1 then concatenate G1 and then whatever you want else and then F2 else just F2 let's 
spell it down. That's more like it. So now what we're going to do is make another helper column and we'll call this test. Well, what's going on is that it's concatenating row by row the previous row and the list gets longer and longer until you get to a new product. So we want the, the longest list. That's all we want to take out of this. So we're going to say if A2 is not equal to A1 then G2 is no is not equal to A1 then 0 else 1 no let's not do it like that if A1 is not equal to A2 1 else 0 let's check it looks like it worked okay so now what we want to do is get rid of our formulas control A, control C special paste and now we want to um, sort this largest to smallest. Now when, what we want to do now is scroll down we have 768 products 769 products so we'll highlight that let's get rid of all the zeros I wish there was a way to get rid of all those empty cells at the bottom so it would be easier to scroll to the bottom of the list there is, somebody could leave a comment and let me know, I'd like to know. We'll delete these. And then what we'll do is get rid of this. And now we have um, a spreadsheet that's easy to work, easier for us to work with to do what we need to do to put the products into our Zen cart. So that's all for this video. This is Will with willfolio.com and I hope that you, if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope that you go to the blog and check it out. There's, um, it's just getting started right now, but I've got some groups on there that you can um, participate in and some forums. So check it out. Thanks for watching.